The shameless lies from our politicians never stop. I mean, we've seen remnants of the exact same storyline that led us into Iraq over and over, even just since Iraq, right? So the idea is, oh my God, this country has got weapons of mass destruction and they're gonna use it on us. We better act before they act on us. Be afraid, be afraid, let's invade, be scared, let's go. So we saw with Iraq, uh, and then they've been beating the war drums with Iran for an extended period of time now, even going back to uh, the second term of the Bush administration. They was all, Iran, they're working on nuclear weapons, they're working on weapons of mass destruction. The second they get them, they're going to use them. You know that, right? You know that, right? That line has never been true. Even with Saddam Hussein, they're like, well, obviously, if he has them, he's going to use them. Duh. Really? So I guess he had a death wish, right? Because if he launches them, he knows he'll be obliterated off the face of the map because we would launch in, in uh, retaliation right away. Saddam Hussein is many things. One thing he's not is a religious fundamentalist who actually wants to die. I mean, he's dead now, but you get my point. Back then, he would have never launched because he knows he'd be obliterated. Uh, same thing with Iran, Ahmadinejad. Granted, the Iranian clerics might be uber-religious, but Ahmadinejad was not suicidal. And now we have a moderate... Uh, the most moderate candidate they could have possibly elected in Iran got elected, right? So there's no reason to beat uh, the war drums, but they continue to do it anyway. But now we're starting to see the same line with Syria. But Louis Gomer didn't just use that same argument about, oh, weapons, they have weapons, we gotta do something. He took it to another level. Listen to why he wants to intervene in Syria. Yes, uh, we knew that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Wrong. Uh, years before, he had killed perhaps 100,000 or more Kurds with poison gas. We knew he had those weapons. There were rumors about them moving over into Syria and other countries, but they never were able to verify where they went, but we knew he had them. So anyway, there was talk about nuclear arms, but we knew he had those, and now we know Syria has them. Do you understand that? So first of all, he's saying, well, Saddam has weapons of mass destruction. He had weapons of mass destruction, except that he didn't. Do you not remember the entire time frame from when we first invaded Iraq until today? Where have you been? I mean, this has been news. This has been, we've known this for a really long time now. Even top Bush administration officials have come out and said, yeah, did we say weapons of mass destruction? We went. They had changed the rationale for the war mid-war which is something I'd never seen before. They went from, oh, he had weapons of mass destruction, he was gonna use it, to when nobody was looking, Cheney was like, well, uh, did I, we say weapons of mass destruction? I meant that he's a really bad guy and he hurt some of his people or whatever, so we went in there for humanitarian reasons. Are you guys buying this? But dumbass Louis Gomer is like, he has weapons of mass destruction. No, he doesn't, you dumb hillbilly. But he's, it, that's not even the crazy part. The crazy part is, well, that is crazy, but this is crazier. He's saying, no, those weapons, which were Saddam's, are now in Syria. And Syria has weapons of mass destruction, which is why we need to invade Syria. Here's an idea. How about we invade every country ever based on those same non-existent phantom weapons of mass destruction? Next, Louis Gomer's going to go, you know, I heard that Botswana has the same weapons of mass destruction that, that uh, Saddam Hussein had. We got to invade Botswana, right? Louis Gomer has never met a war he doesn't like. Now, if you think that's an overstatement, don't take my word for it. Listen to Louis. This is from the CPAC convention this year. I'm not going to debate the merits of whether we should or should not have gone to Vietnam. But what I will tell you is Vietnam was winnable, but people in Washington decided we would not win it. Who's still pro-Vietnam? No, I'm not kidding. There's like 10 people left on the planet that say the Vietnam War was a good idea. Do you realize the whole point of that war? They were afraid of the spread of communism. The argument was legitimately, oh, you guys don't get it. We need to invade now or else they're going to be on our doorstep in Kentucky in four days. <laughs> they got the troops lining up at Cleveland right now. Do you want Cleveland to get taken down by the Vietnamese? Fine, if you do, then I guess we're going to not uh, invade. That's fine. Whatever. 
it was such a ridiculous war, and then we learned that we uh, killed innocent people, women and children. We used napalm, committed so many war crimes, not to mention the fact that so many of our brave young men and women died, all because our leaders were acting like rogue idiots and imperialists, right? But Louis Gohmert, he doesn't care about history, he doesn't care about any of that. We could have won if we stayed in there, he goes on to say in the same clip. Uh, if we were there an extra week, the Vietnamese said they, we would have won the war and they would have fully given in, yeah. Really, Louis? So let me get this straight. They told us that and our response was, ha ha ha, that's all right, you guys can win anyway. If they did tell us that, you know what we would have done? We would have went right the fuck back and finished it off. But by the way, what was victory anyway? What is victory in Vietnam? Can anybody answer that question? Does anybody know uh, how we could have waved the flag of victory? No, nobody does. There was no definition of it, but that's the thing. Louis Gomer doesn't need a definition. Louis Gomer is a fucking bumpkin and a redneck. And he, he's like, yeah, well, if it's a war, is it a war? I'm in. Don't give me any of the details. I don't give a shit, but I'm in favor of the war.